Sorry. Uh, Sean, I have to say, as usual, man, are you so funny in this film? Oh, I mean, thank you. really, your scenes are fantastic. Thank you. When you, you know, first of all, I know you kind of go back with Kevin Smith. Tell me a little yeah. bit about your relationship, because then you have a poster over your bed of what, Mall Rats? Yeah, think? good memory. <laughs> That's true, yeah. So I've, I've been a huge fan of his, you know, I'm a huge fan of films, and, uh, but yeah, I had, I had, uh, Mall rats framed in my first apartment out here in the, well, out in LA, I'm sorry, when I was pursuing acting. And my first experience working with him was Jay and Silent Bob, Strikes Back. And it was amazing because I I called him the day before and I was like, um, do you think it's okay if I have braces in the movie? And uh, and then like long hair, he's like, sure. And then like from that experience, like I realized he loves to improvise, loves, and it was one of the best experiences I've ever had. I only worked two days on it. So when he asked me to do this, I was thrilled. I mean, and, and, and same thing in this movie, just we improvised so much, and a lot of it stayed in the film. Yeah, I was gonna ask you, because <coughs> Dave, you know, interesting character, right? You know, the first time we made him, like, what, what's going on? Is yeah. he like this crazy robber, whatever? We don't really know, right? But when you're, you know, from what you took from the page and what you expanded into this character, I mean, how much was you, Sean? Because you really <laughs> did a great job with this guy. <laughs> Thank you very much, I appreciate it. I, 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 had, I mean, well, Kevin, Kevin is incredible with ideas, like and he encourages improvised stuff, and um, a lot of the, like the character came from the Tracy Morgan. He and I would riff off each other so well, and Bruce is so funny. But like, there's one time um, Tracy's character says, uh, "I'm gonna shoot you in the face," and I go, "I'm gonna shoot you in the face," and all of a sudden the character became the guy who's gonna repeat every single thing that Tracy said. So. There was a little bit of my ideas, you know, like, but it was a collaboration with like Tracy and uh, with Kevin. But it was fun, though. I mean, like, it was, you know, it was one of, one of those um, experiences where Kevin would just le leave the camera on, and then he would throw an idea out, or I'd be like, why don't I whisper in his ear like a little girl, or why don't I just start rubbing his nipple for no reason at all? And Kevin's like, great idea. <laughs> that was what it is. I wish I could say there was more method to my madness, but that's pretty much it. Well, the stuff about repeating, like when you're, you know, when you're a little kid. Now, you come from a big family. you got lots of brothers and sisters. Yeah. So how much did you drive your brothers and sisters crazy doing that as a kid? <laughs> oh, I actually had a conversation about this with my mom. She's in town, and, and um, we're all, my brother is here. And I said, was I? Oh, no, because she said, I said, you know, somebody asked me that before. Like, were you naughty as a kid? And I was like, no, no, I wasn't naughty. And then my mom was like, are you, are you, do you not remember? I'm like, no, I was a good kid, right? She goes, you were the worst kid. She's like, you got away with everything. And, and it's true, like, I burned down a forest and I blamed it on my brother. Uh, and that was funny. But then when we got credit for the fact that they wanted to tear down the forest anyways to build condominiums, that's when I decided to take the credit for it. Uh, but I like to think that I was a good kid. I, I don't think I gave my brothers too much hell. I just want to know what you whispered to Tracy Morgan in his ear. This is how bad of an actor I am. I go, Sh -sh -sh -sh. And then he's like, ha, 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 like he starts laughing. I, I mean, I wish I was a good enough actor to actually try to make him laugh, but I, I couldn't go that far. It was just the idea of whispering. <laughs> What's it like riffing with a guy like that? I mean, he is really brilliant, Tracy Morgan. He is. Yeah, Tracy, for me, like, I mean, I, I just love this movie. I love Cop Out, and I want people to see it. I, I also, of course, it's like I'm working with Bruce Willis, which is insane. It's so awesome. But Tracy deserves to be a major player in the business. He is so talented. and. I I prefer working with you know a comedian like that because I, I don't really like to have to say what's on the page. I like the fear of not knowing what's going to happen. Um, and Tracy encourages that. Like there's times where I would say to Tracy, like I have an idea. He's like, don't tell me, just do it. And so it'd be fun. You know, a lot of the stuff that 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 he and I did, you know, while filming it is is you know in the script. Or, I'm sorry, in the in the final product. Yeah, and, and I, yeah, I want to talk about Bruce Willis because you know. I thought those two guys worked really well together, and then yeah. when the three of you are together, I go, man, this really works. You know, who would have thought? What a genius putting the three of you together in a car like those. You know, you're just sitting watching, and I could watch that for hours. Really, That's I hope awesome. there's lots of, you know, on on the DVD because it's yeah. really great stuff. But you know, do, what do you learn? What do you take from a guy like Bruce Willis who's been making movies for what 30 years? I mean, crazy. Yeah, it is incredible because you know he really is the only guy that I know of that has held that status for so long. That iconic just movie star. I mean, there's guys like Tom Cruise, but Bruce has been doing it longer than Tom, I think. Mm. Tom, you know, because I know Tom, Tom Cruise, but like, um, but you know, the, you know, I mean, Bruce is just such a great guy. And he's so cool. It's one thing, but as far as like just being, a, you know, really great human being, he, he made me feel totally comfortable. He's such a good guy and such a professional. I mean, but I still, I still get nervous when I see him. I mean, I, ner I get nervous, excited, like I get anxious because I'm like, I have all his movies. Yeah. I've seen all his movies at least 10 times. 
And um, what I appreciated was that uh, even though he's a big movie star, he's just uh, still a good person. When you're not on set, is it the kind of thing where you want to just come and watch these guys work? Absolutely, yeah. You know, I, I think they were getting sick of me because I was only supposed to work like 10 days. And they are like, you don't have to come every day. I'm like, well, I don't have anything to do. So do you guys need any water or anything? I'll, I'll help you out. <laughs> um, Kevin Smith, in terms of directing something, I was asking him, I said, this is the first film that he's directed that he hasn't written, which, you know, yeah. amazing. And I thought he did such a great job with that. Oh, great. Well, it, from your perspective, just watching him work in, on a, something like this, what was it like to, you know, to follow his direction for this? Well, I, I mean, it, I've had a really great experience, you know, with other directors like Todd Phillips and, you know, Peter Berg and the Weitz Brothers. I have to say that this has been my favorite experience because Kevin is so relaxed on a set. He's also, you know, as a writer, um, actor, comedian, director. I mean, the guy is incredibly talented, and he just makes it fun. He makes it feel like, you know, you can't make a mistake, you know, and... Uh, you know, I just, I had more fun on this than I have had in probably any other film. Yeah. But I feel that way on most films. Every new experience, I feel like I had more fun than the one before just because I'm just happy to be working. But, like, he's great, though. He'll throw out things that sometimes, some lines that I just have to laugh for a while because it's just so funny. And then I go, ah, oh, I'm not doing it as funny as you just did it, you know? Yeah. What's up next? So you're saying you're going to be in Winnipeg. What are you working yeah. on next? I'm working on a movie called Fallout. Uh, uh, Xavier Gens, a French director, is directing it. It's a kind of a darker role for me. It's um, ensemble cast, yeah. I was going to ask you because, you know, we love you and your comedies and stuff, mm -hmm. but, you know, we've seen you do a little bit of some drama stuff, and, and I, I was going to ask you if you wanted to kind of make your move into that genre. Yeah, I would love to. I, I, I wanted to from the very beginning, but I think uh, <laughs> starting off with a character like Stifler, I don't think people are going to see me in the sequel to Schindler's List, you know? <laughs> not that there's going to be a sequel anyways, but anyways, that's probably not the best example of a film, but... Um, yeah, I would always want to do that, and uh, I had a little bit of a chance in movies like Southland Tales and stuff, yeah. but those tones, uh, the tones of that film was, was kind of strange, but yeah, I'd like to do that, but I also really love to do comedies, too, because yeah. it's a great, I mean, it's such a challenging world that it's a nice thing to try to make someone laugh. Yeah, it's, that's for sure. We really need yeah. that. Okay, so last but not least, do you have a good knock-knock joke for me? I'm the worst joke teller. No, I, I don't. I... I'm so sorry, but you know the funniest thing is that I do comedies, but I cannot tell you a joke to save my life. I, I've, nev I've been jealous of comedy guys. Like when I was in high school, they got all the girls, and, and they're like, so funny. The girls are like, oh, they're hilarious. I want to hang out with them. And I was like, I can't tell a joke. I can't tell you, I don't even know one joke. Huh. I can only tell you a joke if, if I get paid to. <laughs> we'll work on that. You know what? <laughs> Next interview, we'll make sure that you get extra money. Awesome. And I'm sure the jokes will come flying out of your mouth. <laughs> exactly. Always a pleasure talking to you. It's Such great a great to see guy. you again. Thank you, Sean. Thank Thanks you so much. much. Take care. Yeah, thank great. you. Write down your email. I will, I will.